Welcome to quick videos for learners in a hurry once again. It's Martin speaking. Uh, I'm going to create um, a query here which is going to uh, find um, records beyond a particular date so that if you if you have the task of uh, finding records that are after the 1st of January 2012 or whatever you'll be able to find them. Um, I've got a, a table with only four records in and uh, I'll show you how we'll run a query which will um, distinguish between the dates of loan of these uh, these four records. We've got the 10th of January, the 15th of January, 1st of February and the 28th of January. So let's say we, we want to find uh, every book in this database that has been uh, out on loan since the, uh, since the 16th of January. So that would only bring us these two records, wouldn't it? The 1st of February and the 28th of January. So that's records after the 16th of January. Well how do we do it? We create using the query wizard a new query and click OK. Let's put all of the fields in. Make sure that I'm using the table and not a previous query. I explained this in, uh, in the other database uh, video I made recently but you need to check from this drop down arrow that you're taking the data, uh, the correct set of data. I'll put all the fields in, we we'll click next and we'll have every field of every record, so next, I'll just bring this up here so you can see it better, let's go back to show you that again, show you the details of every field of every record, we'll click next and uh, we'll call this query 2 and we'll want to modify the query design because we want to put some criteria in to uh, to give us those particular dates. So let's uh, show you what we're doing here. Um, I want the date of loan to be beyond the 16th of January 2012. So on this criteria row, on the date of loan, I'm going to type the greater than symbol the date so that's greater than the 16th of January 2012 when I click away from that you'll find that access puts in um, these hash signs well, you don't need to do it it'll do it for you so this will show me records greater than the 16th of January in other words records from the 17th of January onwards if I wanted records from the 16th I could make it greater than or equal to the 16th of January and that will give me records from the 16th, the 17th and beyond. See the difference there, if I take out the equal sign it's going to give me those greater than the 16th, in other words the 17th onwards. So let's run this query, click the run button, the query runs and we have two records. Uh, one from the 1st of January, February, one from the 28th of January, both fit the criteria. And that's how to run a simple query uh, using uh, the, the, the date function.